Hey guys, this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe, please like, come back and share this if you think it's a value to someone else. Now today I am not doing makeup. I am actually doing a vlog. I've never done one before, so this will be the first time. I look like I need to come down a little bit in my chair. There we go. <laughs> Sitting a little too high in the saddle is what it looked like. And... I'm taking you back to my childhood where I grew up and I'm going to show you um, a town called Slap Out, Alabama, which is where I'm from. You will not find that on the map. It is a place called Holtville, Alabama, um, which is about 30 minutes above Montgomery. And so it's a beautiful little place, but a lot of people have asked me about where I'm from in Alabama and, and how I ended up getting into this makeup business that I'm in. And so I ended up getting this makeup business because I'm older now and I was, let's see, I've been doing, um, I started with Unique in 2015. So it's been a while and this is 2020. So I'm still in it and I still love it. And I'm a haphazard YouTuber. I did not mean to be a YouTuber at all. Um, but I found out that I loved helping others and I loved connecting with women. If you hear my dog in the background, sorry, he's my He's always in here with me, <laughs> and he loves it. He hates being separated because he's on the other side of the bed, and I'm over here because I am in my bedroom. That's where I do all these videos, and been doing them for years now, and I love it, and so YouTube kind of just took off, and I really didn't try to do anything with YouTube. I was saving videos there, so thank goodness I have this venue, and I have met so many fabulous ladies in, in the last six or seven years now, and it's been phenomenal, and I enjoy it, and I, I appreciate you so much for popping on here and saying hello and saying you like it. If you don't even like it, I still thank you for even trying to watch, okay? <laughs> but this is a great video for you to watch, and I hope that you get to take away kind of sort of what my life is like and what kind of person I am. And so please come back. I'd love for you to come back and watch other videos. I have lots of playlists, so click on them and see if there's something there you may be interested in. All right. I'm excited. I want you to see where my grew, where I grew up. My, we sold my mom's house, just hence. We sold my mom's house. And in this video, I get to see the house remodeled for the first time after we've sold it. We sold it, um, this is, we sold it probably back in the summer, like in the mid midsummer of this year. And so it was bittersweet for me to walk through the house. And so you're gonna get to walk through the house with me. I'm gonna take you down to the lake. I'm gonna take you to my high school. I'm gonna take you to the church I went to, um, everything, everything. And, and I'm gonna show you Slap Out. There's not much about Slap Out it's a very small place and <laughs> that's where I'm from. So, <laughs> all right, that's the hints. I'm slap out lash girl, Melissa. Okay. That's where that came from. All right. I appreciate it. And y'all keep watching. So this is the back of the church, um, where I grew up that big building there. That's a new, um, sanctuary. And, but the one that I grew up in is the one in the middle there and where you see the steeple coming up. And then they added that other wing, and then they've added that huge wing out on the end. But this is where my dad is buried, my grandparents, my grandparents. I just brought new flowers up here for all of them. And so that's my grandparents there. This is my dad. And gave him, he um, was in the Navy. So I make sure he has red, white, and blue and flags, and he always loved them. And then my brother, Mike is there uh, he used to build boats hence the sea screamer boat sitting there and then his son actually is next to him john and john was very young and we sure do miss him as well and then my grandmother on the end there is my mom's mother so this is um when you stand here uh, as a grown-up i'm 58 now and i look and i can see lots of names of people that had huge influences on my life out here so it is kind of surreal when I come back and visit and it's not that far from where I live now, but I don't get up here enough. So I'm going to go around to the front of the church and um, show you the front of this place. Okay, so this is the front of the church and the steeple and that was the original chapel. Um, that's where I used to go inside and worship and 
Then they added this little part here, and that was really all of the church, just that and that, okay? <laughs> and then they added that part there. Um, there. There's an office, that's a new entrance, and that used to be the parsh, I mean, parsonage where the preacher lived. And they turned it into a daycare. I'm not in, so you can see the daycare stuff over there. And I'm going to take you over there in a second. That is a, uh, the cotton gin. I must show you that. I'm going to walk through that cotton for you. And I want to walk, see, this is the new part right here. Let me come this way. This is the new part that they, that's the new chapel. So this is the old one. It's beautiful in there, y'all. It has... Uh, the beams inside are absolutely gorgeous. They're stained glass windows. Um, very, very pretty inside. And the, there are beams in there from trees that were like 200 years old or more. <laughs> Probably older now, of course. But that's where you can go into the new part. And I want to walk over here and show you the sides of these. So you can see how pretty the stained glass is in this place. Isn't it gorgeous? I love this old church. I spent most of my life here at this church. So let me walk over here to show you the plaque. So as you can see, this plaque, um, I hope you can see it. So the original Cain uh, family moved here probably in 1817 it looks like, uh, or 1820, somewhere in there. And this place was established in 1843. It looks like we just had our 200th anniversary. And isn't that amazing? This has been here that long. So the cemetery I was in has graves back to the 1800s. It's amazing. And then on the other side, it's continued on the other side. Hang on. And this is the rest of it. Oh my gosh, it's a lot to read. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. I just cannot. Oh, sorry. There you go. Uh, it's the blunt. The sun is blinding me. But in this, an amazing place. It really is. And of course, that's a restaurant there. And I'm gonna go. All of this is slap out. And I'm gonna take you up to the school. Uh, I'm gonna probably go over there to the boy store, which is known as the boy store and has been all my life. But we're gonna go to the cotton gin next. Okay, this cotton gin has been here forever as well. This is cotton that's sitting waiting to be processed. And it comes in the round uh, little bales. I'm on, I don't know, they call them rolls or bales. I call them bales. And then sometimes they come in uh, like a flatbed trailer type thing. And when I was a kid, uh, the cotton was brought in on trailers. They didn't pack it like this. This is amazing. They just set it on the ground. Let me show you some of the cotton. This is cotton. And it does have these, this has not been done. This has um, seeds in it. There's a seed right there inside there. So once they run it through the mill, which is over there, um, it's running now, you can hear it. I think they're running 24 hours a day right now through that mill. That mill has been here all my life and I'm 58. So I can't tell you exactly when it, I don't know if they have like a, historical marker over there or not but it's pretty amazing to see <laughs> and all this cotton comes from all around and they bring it here to be milled in that mill right there isn't that cool it's just amazing 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 now you know what cotton looks like if you've never seen it before and a lot of it all over the ground let me come over here i wish to, um i could get closer but i don't want to get over there in the way of them working right yeah it's pretty cool pretty darn cool so now you've seen the cotton mill and you've seen a lot of cotton that used to be out in the field they harvest it they wrap it like that they bring it here and leave it and then they put it in the machine over there see that truck backed up in there that's how they do it they pick these bales up they back it up in there and it runs through it all right guys <laughs> we got to go see some other stuff all right see there's the church that's where we just were. And now I'm gonna pan around and hope it's not too bright. Now there's, <laughs> this is a hole in the wall place. <laughs> there is a bank down there, way down there past, past that store. So they call this one the girl's store and this one is the boy's store. And it actually turned into a Piggly Wiggly. And then there's, you know, we got a nail place up here. Wow, and Apex Gas down there. So 
it looks totally different now where I'm standing there used to be a huge where this Christmas tree is there was a store here too as a child and they had like stairs going up and uh, you could go in and get candy and things like that and that's you know all new that's not original and then on around we have um, there's a little barber shop there it's not much to slap out I'm sorry this used to be a bank and now it's Holly Oil and because they own the Piggly Wiggly over there let me walk around my car so uh, love to come over here to the this is a market where in the summertime she has flowers and everything and now it looks like she has everything for uh, winter time and up that road there is the school where I went to high school and we will be going up there the waterworks and We've got Reese's Tire place over there. So, it is a cool place. We are out in the middle of nowhere. This is Slap Out, Alabama. Let me turn it around. If I go too fast, <laughs> you will miss it, okay? <laughs> it is not much here, just the whole span. But let me just say, a lot of people live up here. The lake is up here. And there's my church right there. So, let's head on up to the school. So, this is where I went to high school. My parents went to high school here too. This has been here forever. This is one of the first um, agricultural schools way back when. Um, the middle part there used to be the auditorium. I I'm not quite sure. And this side, when I went to school, this side was the elementary. And this side over here was the high school. And then we had the auditorium in the middle. And then there was a lunchroom in the back. And we had a huge gym in the back. And then, the old gym is still there, but they built the new gym. And I, this tree right here has been here all my life. Look how big it is. It's very old. It's probably here where my parents were here. And here is a sign about the school. So you can see in the late 30s and early 40s, Hopeful uh, School won national acclaim as one of the foremost examples of the progressive education movement in the U.S. It was one of 33 Southern schools in 1938 chosen to receive financial support in developing new educational methods. So, and I remember Mr. Kritzberg, um, he was the principal here. I remember him well. So, wow, it was an agricultural school though. Isn't it cool? And it has a Spanish style, which I guess was popular back in 1929 like but Hope High School and they have another sign here and there's a bulldog buried out here somewhere in HHS in the ground here but there you go established 1929 this is where this girl went to school I love it here that is a brand new elementary school that was a baseball field when I was a kid and I used to park right here underneath well the tree i parked on is gone i always park like right there <laughs> every day when i came to school so isn't it cool what a cool school look at the spanish it is so so pretty love this school hardwood floors throughout um of course there, this is all this is just a high school now you have the elementary school this is the high school and then there is a middle school that's built way back behind the school so i just wanted you to see how cool it is here i don't know where that bulldog is buried but he's buried out here somewhere maybe this is his little grave right here they need to rake out here i think this might be it the little grave maybe probably so it is there's a little grave for the bulldog. Oh, how sweet. Does it have a date? Let me see. Does it have a date? 42, something like that. 1942, is that it? Wow. He was the first bulldog mascot and he's buried right here. That is so cool. All right, this is my school, y'all. Go dogs, go bulldogs. <laughs> I cheered here go figure all right let's go check out some more stuff
Okay, I am down at the lake and I'm gonna turn around and you can see the lake is behind me, right? So this is where I was. This is, this is where I grew up and um, it is a public boat ramp and, but my grandfather owned all this land and I guess he sold it to the state. And so now it's become something totally different, but this is an outdoor church. Let me turn this around. See if it'll turn around, probably not. Darn it, okay. I'm gonna cut this off and then I'll be right back. It would not let me flip it around. So this is an outdoor church. Um, and let me pan around. I used to ride my bike over here. That used to be a huge forest over there. And um, I played in it quite often. It's an airplane flying around. So come on, let's go down to the lake. This is where I used to come and sit and cast all my cares away right here. And this is an outdoor church. And from Easter to through the summer, uh, they will have a uh, church here. Uh, and people come up in their boats and things. And you can see how pretty it is here today. It is a gorgeous day uh, for um, a de uh, December because you see people coming down here in their boats. It's going to be in the 70s today here. I've got on short sleeves myself. In this beautiful? Love it. It is so pretty here. Um, but yes, yeah, so I used to play over here quite a bit. I used to run up and down these stairs uh, for exercise. I did. I don't know, what are they doing? They're getting ready to go out. Isn't that cool? So we're gonna walk down here uh, to where they're putting the boat. See, the guy's putting the boat in. Now this is a public boat ramp, but in the view, beautiful. Now this comes, this right here is the slough where, I, where you go that way to the right, you'll see uh, the store down in there. And then this is the main part of the lake. The lake is 18 miles long uh, from one end to the other. And we are closer to the Wetumpka side end. Uh, if you head up the lake that way, <clears throat> you run right into the dam, which runs right into the Coosa River, which runs right through Wetumpka, Alabama, and all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. So down to Mobile. How cool is this? So I wanted you to be able to see it. I love it here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you one other piece of it. Uh, it's something brand new that the state has put in and you can get a better view of the lake. All right, now I'm at the top of the hill. This is, <laughs> I'm kind of winded. This is the, this is where everybody parks. And this is brand new. I haven't even seen this yet. I used to play in these woods, y'all. Yeah, we used to have forts. That middle part over there used to be nothing but woods and we had forts in there too, but this is new. They have bathrooms. I am shocked. This would have been wonderful to have it when you were a kid. <laughs> but yeah. See, we're on the top up here. So we are going, I'm gonna go potty real quick. And then uh, we're going downstairs. We're going down there so you can see the entire okay. lake. We are now headed to the fishing pier. This has been here uh, probably about 10 years or more, maybe. I know it was here when I lived here. And I, when I lived here, um, you know, as an adult, they built all of this. So it's so pretty here. Um, I used to come down here though and play. Um, these banks down here are nothing but clay, so <laughs> you should have a really good time coming down here as a kid. And there's the pier right there, you see it? We're going to walk out on that. Now in the, wow, this stuff, the wheat, I don't know what this is, some kind of grass growing here. It's beautiful, very fallish, but typically they're going to be dewberries all in here in the summertime. And so you have to be careful, snakes like dewberries. So. Looks like they've cut all this out pretty nice. So, but the state put all this in. It's really pretty. I'm zigzagging down. They did this to where somebody could come down here uh, if they were in a wheelchair. It's made for that. And I guess that's why it has these turns and make it safe. Because 
I can see where it would be really hard to come down if it was any other thing but that. Here we go, y'all. Yep, used to come down here and play. There was no pier though. And this is so nice, it's beautiful. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Oh my God. Now there's not a lot of boats out here, but in the summertime, this lake is 18 miles long. So this is probably from up there. We're at the top of the lake. So just imagine how much further it would take you to get to the end of this lake, okay? Isn't it beautiful here today? Oh my gosh. Let me kind of zoom in so you can see how pretty it is here today. It's very quiet, listen. This is why I love to come here and sit and just do nothing, nothing. Absolutely nothing though. One lone boat, fishermen. Guys are so lucky, you know, they take off of work and go fishing. <laughs> and so this, these, this side of the lake where we are right here, this is called the slap out side. And that is the tightest side. So to get to that side um, by land, you have to go all the way to Wetumpka and drive all the way around to get to this side of the lake, which is a long way. So isn't it gorgeous here? You can see why I love to come here and just sit and do nothing. I don't get to come out here that much anymore, <sighs> but I love it. And I used to play here so much as a kid and it's a great, it was a great place to grow up. It really was. I was really lucky, very lucky to have a lot of family around and to be able to grow up in such a beautiful place. So this is about 30 minutes from Montgomery. So if that gives you any idea of where we are in the middle of the state of Alabama and it's 70 degrees and this girl's got on her t-shirt and it's perfect out here. Perfect. Sometimes you can see turtles, but probably not today. Looks kind of muddified. Now this is not like one of the most beautiful lakes. Like Martin's Lake is a lot clearer than this one. This is actually a, the river and it has a dam on that end. Mitchell Dam's way out there and Jordan Dam is way down here. So Jordan Dam is the dam that uh, connects, to, well this is the Coosa River. Actually this is a river. It's got a dam on each end but down here on that end on the other side, that's where they let the water out, and that's the water that you see run through Wetumpka, Alabama, and go all the way to the Gulf, right? That's that's how it works here. All righty, guys. I love you guys for hanging out with me. It is so pretty here today. I thought it was going to be rainy. It's going to rain tomorrow, so this is a perfect day for me to be off and for me to come and have a good time here. All righty. I hope you love it. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you learned a little bit about me and a little about, you know, what I'm about and 
Um, caring about the others is really, really, really important to me. And so, small town girl, I'm just a small town girl. I'm just like you. I'm not any different from anybody else. And if you think you can't do things, yes, you can. You can do anything you put your mind to. Honestly, you can. You can do it. I swear you can do it. And I appreciate you. Please come back, like, and subscribe. And I will see you here on Sundays. It's the only day I have to get on here. And I appreciate you watching. See you then.